Hi guys, this is Line6David, and today I'm going to show you how to download a tone from CustomTone.com and work with it in HD Edit software. First, make sure that your pod is connected to your computer via USB and the latest drivers are installed. If you connect your device and your computer's not seeing it, you can download the latest drivers at line6.com forward slash software or install them using Line 6 Monkey. Okay, so now that we're connected, let's fire up our edit software. All right, and we're just going to let that populate. So while that's doing that, I wanted to say that um, right now I'm using a Pod HD Pro. Um, if you're using a 500 or an HD Beam, it's going to be exactly the same. And so the first thing that you're going to notice is it brings up all of the presets from whatever set list you're on on your device. So we can see all those. Then up here is how you switch set list. And see all those. And we can go down here and tweak some of the effects in this particular preset, Sun of Plexi. Right here's our amp model. Here's our mixer. Controllers, which includes our foot switches. And set list, which is a big overview of all of your set list. You can also move around the order of all of these different effects up here at the top. And that's pretty much it for the basic overview. So let's fire up customtone.com. All right, and here we are on the Line 6 website. We're just going to hover over Community up at the top of the page, and right there is Custom Tone. So I'm going to scroll down here. I'm using an HD Pro. So that's what I'm going to pick. A little icon here. All right, and if I click on one of the links here, you can see some information about it and a rating. Now we're just going to go over here and click Get Tone. Okay, it popped up down here at the bottom. So I'm going to go to my Downloads folder. And there it is in my Downloads folder. Now the first thing I'm going to do is minimize my browser here. And drag this directly onto my desktop. That way it's easy to find. I'm not searching all around my computer to find my tones. It's also good to keep them all in one spot. So, let's load up our software here, and I'm going to pick one of the empty user banks or user set lists. See, they all say new tone. That way I'm not saving over anything that I already like. So I'm going to put that little arrow beside of where I want it to go. And hit File and Open. Okay, navigate to my desktop. And I'm going to pick my tone. And now you'll see that the tone's loaded. We've got a dual lamp set up. We've got some different effects and stuff that we can tweak. Now here's one thing that confuses some people, moving these around, because if I just click this and drag it down here, all of a sudden there's a new tone up here in the top. So if I want to copy that multiple times and change it a little bit to like do a solo or something like that, all I've got to do is just hold the control key. And now I can copy it to multiple locations and then tweak each one individually, maybe add a different effect or something like that, sort of build it up for my song. And if I go over here, now you'll see in our overview, right there they are, in user 3. So basically in a nutshell, there are the factory presets, the ones that come 
on the HD device and then there's several um, set lists where you can create your own custom tones or set it up for different genres, different bands you're playing in. Uh, there's plenty of room on there uh, to just have a ton of different sounds and organize them a million different ways. So now, if I want to make it permanent on the HD500, I'm going to highlight it and click Send Selected. Now if I move off of it, now you're going to see that it's permanently saved back on the HD500. I can also press All, and that means that all of the presets that I've tweaked and everything are going to be saved back to the 500. And so now they're all permanent. So, after you get a bunch of these laid out, you might want to back all this stuff up, just in case. And you can go up here to File, and go to Save Bundle. And so I'm going to save that bundle right on my desktop, and that's going to have all the tones in the entire HD device. Alright, and that's pretty much it for navigating the HD Edit software. Again, this will work for the 500, the Bean, or the HD Pro, like I'm using here. And so uh, I'm going to let you guys go and start tweaking, and I hope you have a wonderful day.